Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this chapter of constraint, we are going to learn about the orient constraint in Autodesk Maya. In the previous chapter, we have already covered the point constraint and we are going to discuss about the orient constraint in this chapter. I am leaving the aim constraint uh, for the next chapter. We will consider this because that is the connection uh, first. Before we, uh, we are actually uh, going through the aim constraint, I think the orient constraint should be discussed. So, <coughs> To start with, I have uh, created uh, two box or the two polygonal cube and two polygon sphere. So the connection to, for creating the connection between two objects, uh, as you already uh, go through the, I am hoping that you have go, gone through the uh, point constraint chapter. If you're not, please uh, go through that because I have uh, discussed a few very uh, basic things about constraints like. <coughs> You have to select the parent object first before you are, uh, you know, going to constrain any 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 object. Like I, I'm going to constrain this uh, box with the uh, depending on dependent on this particular sphere. So first, you have to select the parent object, which is in this case sphere, and uh, then I have to select the uh, box or the child object that is going to be constrained with the parent. So by selecting that, go to orient. And option box, I'm leaving the, with the with the default values over here, and I say add. Now, <coughs> how, what is these two going to, uh, actually doing over here? I'm going to use uh, create the same uh, parent-child relationship, the basic parent-child relationship between these two by uh, hitting P. So first, in that case, first we have to select the parent, sorry, child, then shift the uh, parent and hit P. Now the both connection. This sphere uh, is actually my parent object. So, but what is the difference between the, these two? Now, <coughs> as we are discussing over here the orient, I am not going to consider uh, a positional constraint over here. So, I am just going to see what is exactly they are behaving while I am rotating any parent object. Now, while I am rotating, you can see the movement of the child object. And over here, you can see different kind of movement. Now, what is the difference? The difference is when I'm rotating uh, the parent object over here, which is in case I'm uh, connected with the P or the parent normal parenting, that that child object's pivot point has been moved towards its parent. Now it's absolutely depending on rotating on the over the uh, uh, pivot point of the parent. Whereas in the constraint, that is not happening. The pivot point of the rotation is actually stated in beneath uh, within this uh, object. So this is this its pivot point. Its pivot point has not moved towards the child. Uh, sorry, parent object. So <coughs> there is a basic difference between the orientation constraint, the orient constraint. So that you have to uh, remember that when you are going to need this orient constraint, you should be you know needed that your child object or the constraint objects should be rotate on its own axis not from the uh, you know parent objects so that we have to uh, look after before we are going to use the orientation constraint so this is a very a very important stuff that you should know so <clears throat> now uh, i'm going to move back and i'm just uh, going to say Okay, so now I'm going to use same orient constraint with a different kind of. Now, what is the meaning of offset? That I've already discussed in the point constraint chapter. What is an offset? Offset means uh, that uh, you have already have a value, uh, and you want to maintain remain the difference between these two, the the values of parent and child. Like, let's say I'm going to select this and. Uh, I am rotating into the minus 50 degree. Okay, I'm oh, sorry, minus 45 degree, say. Okay, to make things better. Now, this is my scenario. I have already have the value of minus 45, and there is my um, uh, child object. So select the parent, then shift select child, constraint, orientation constraint, and I am not going to offset these two that means the child is compelled or constrained as the meaning of the constraint is that you have to force 
you are applying force towards the uh, toward that particular object to to follow the parent now as i am not maintaining my offset and if i hit apply immediately you can see my child object or this guy in this case is this, this particular polygonal uh, cube is actually move minus 45 degree so that means this rotational value has been feeded back towards the child now what happen if actually uh, i didn't I, I did i did put that maintain offset option on eventually uh, you can understand that if i hit apply there's nothing going to change because that offset has been maintained how can you say that offset has been maintained because if you hit minus 90 degree over here here you can see this minus 45 degree has been made because i am maintaining that offset with this value so i have my minus 90 and my offset value is minus 45 degrees so that minus 45 degrees has been maintained uh, as i am uh, check on that box that is called maintain offset so that is the basic uh, i mean uh, the basic use of your offset that uh, if you want that your child object should be you know uh, differ that much degree of angle from your parent object then you uh, then you, you can use uh, this kind of uh, rotation uh, and in in case of you know arm to is a forearm to is this can be uh, very handy while you are using you know ro rotating your wrist joint and as well as you are uh, you know controlling your wrist joint uh, sorry the forearm joint to to you know uh, less than your uh, rotation of value of uh, of the wrist joint so in that in those cases you can use that is, is this kind of orient constraint options so and you can manually put the uh, offset values also that is up to you because uh, when, when you are you know you have the uh, the amount of value uh, that you know that what what amount in which axis you want to offset you want to maintain the difference between the parent and child then uh, that you can put over here animation layer already have discussed in the previous chapter that you want to override to the layers or everything that you can use or you want to, you want to put in particular uh, layer animation layer I, I don't have any animation layer so uh, so in this case you can put it over here so that and particular constraint axis i want uh, i the, here we can see that uh, i want my cube to be followed by uh, you know i'm uh, to be followed in only the z axis not the x and y so i can switch off the x and y oh sorry uh, switch on the z and leave the x and y so in that case only the uh, z axis will gonna follow not the x and y so if i need my x one x axis and uh, rotate y axis uh, the attribute to these two attributes to be free because I want to put some expression maybe I want to put some connection through these then uh, you have to leave this so that's where uh, this constraint of access uh, selection of access has comes to play and also the way that I've already discussed in the previous chapter please go through that because that is a very important one that weight is absolutely depending on when you are using some uh, two different kind of parent object like uh, or Two, two different uh, parent object uh, you know uh, influencing on a sing, single uh, child object and their averaging kind of value uh, will be discussed and you can switch on and switch off and uh, in the same way that you have already discussed in the point point constraint chapter so please go through that before before you go you know to understand this so hope you understand this uh, orient constraint options and hope you enjoy this please like our uh, facebook page and subscribe to our youtube channel to stay updated uh, hope you enjoy this thank you very much